Hi everybody, this is Don Clark with FileMakerProGurus.com and FM Database Consulting. I want to show you a neat little trick I saw working on a database I inherited to, to fix up some, some things. And it had a nice little feature about indirectly adding a record. And uh, truthfully, I haven't figured out exactly how it works yet, but maybe somebody out there can help me. Um, this is the script that we're running. Here's the database and some of the things. Here's the registration table here, okay? Um, and when we get done adding one, you can forget about that, um, it'll add a new record automatically. We're going to delete this one. And delete record. Okay. So the way this thing works, I'll just show you real quick. You, in a normal course of events, what would happen would be uh, you'd click a button like this to uh, open a window and then you click on a, 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 you know, a, one of these courses here. And then what would happen would be um, that generally a developer might grab a value from here, like the key, the primary key from this record, uh, uh, and move it on over, you know, a value from this person, I should say, and, and tie it to the uh, this course that you're going to register for. So we'd grab the course ID and the and the uh, and that would go over to a to a table called registration, add a new record. You would freeze the screen beforehand. Then you'd come back and refresh the screen. And after you'd already set your variables or your fields with, you know, the home key for the person and the course ID and that kind of stuff, then you would have a link. OK, this one doesn't do it that way, however. But let me just show you that it does work. We clicked on a button here. It adds it. And we just added this new record right here. Two, four, one, seven, one, four, seven, six. Just a few minutes ago, it's three oh two here just a few seconds ago. So now this is the script they're using and it's a script trigger. And it's when you click this, it runs a script. It runs this script here. And uh, so it grabs this information that's available to you, which is uh, on this record, the student, uh, select the student, the person ID. That's going to be the foreign key in the registration table here. And we it runs and it immediately goes to this registration in and sets the home key people to it. And uh, it's an interesting way that it does that. Let's take a look at this before we finish that off. Um, well, we're going to save that. OK, um, let's go into the relationships first. And for some reason, it's not opening my window where I want it to open it. I don't see it at all. Well, that's no fun. Oh, you know what? You have to close this little window down here. It locks everything out. And so we'll go to the relationship here. And this is a home table we're on behind here. It all has this one record. And then we match up um, the key that we want to load the, the student record. And this database also has lists available where it has a one to or many to many relationship and shows everything inside a portal. So that's pretty much how this whole database is designed for the user interface. And that's why they're using this trick. Here's this relationship we have, the home record. I mean, table and the registration in for new, I think is what that means. And then we have uh, the relationship, which is key new on the registration here and then UUID on that side. OK, UUID is just the, the UUID for the home. It's going to set a relationship. And it, this is where it, it has kind of an issue uh, What that I, I, I don't understand. We'll do this. We'll go to script debugger. We'll choose one. Adobe wall construct. Well, let's do something else. How about uh, this one here. We'll cancel that and do this one. OK, so now you see over here, we this is our last record, 7300. It's going to set the registration in person ID to home key people. We, we push that and it makes a new record right away. Didn't have to leave, go to another screen, freeze a record or anything. Didn't have to access it through a portal role. Um, so we move to the next step and take a look here when this happens. Make that a little bit bigger. The registration in key was set to the UUID automatically of the uh, of the common table or the home table. And, but nothing set that. There's nothing in the script that sets that. There's nothing relationship. 
uh, registration key uh, name is it just an indexed field that's all it is it doesn't have an auto populate the field uh, but it does set that that's probably where the you know that's what sets the key and makes it possible to make that new record um, because we have the ability to add a new record through a relationship normally that's done in a portal but we're not doing it here so it does that we step through this we get our script parameter which is uh, which is a duplicate duplicated in this script I didn't fix that uh, I just left it the way it is and it sets that parameter right here on this side and then it goes through and does some other now it wipes out the key new and it breaks the relationship okay that now is gone and it sets the you know it just does some other stuff okay so the key registration there um, and I don't know why it does that home key registration but we commit the records you know, if we go we and down here you would run a script that uh, perform a subscript that would allow us to add textbooks all related textbooks automatically to this course for this student and that works just fine too so we go ahead and click OK here and you can see it added that information and added that record so I think that's a real neat little way to do something uh, saves a lot of code it's simple um, you don't have to go to another layout don't even have to open the other layout all you got to do is just use that record to do that that relationship uh, why my big question is why does it set the key new to the UUID of the uh, of the common or the home table they call it common in the layout but it's called the home table and uh, that's about it I don't have any other things for that if somebody has an idea I thought you might find it interesting it's easy to duplicate um, that's the only function that one registration in has and it it has and it's the only one that allows there to be a record made in the registration table from this location so that's it thanks very much for your time i'm heading out to uh, devcon tomorrow morning early so i'm posting this a little bit early today and i hope to uh, see some of you there at devcon this year at 2018 take care